Hey guys, this is Gamerco. We are going to play Super Luigi World. Yeah, I'm sorry this has to be a um take two thing, but uh unfortunately there's not very much I can do about that because the thing decided to um pretty much crash on me after I did the first take. So yeah. I also realized I could probably up my um video quality settings for this actually, but I think it's just about okay as it is, and this is the sort of settings I use for um, Toho, so you know, it kind of works fine. Uh, the main thing that I do want to note though is as a result of a couple of um, recent videos that were not being quite what I, you know, would like quality wise, I'm actually now trying a new different type of setup thing, which is um, going to be using Blueberry to. Um, record uh, both the audio and the video, you know, game music and uh, narration at the same time. So this is a basic um, farming type of thing, so you know, you get items for it, that's what we've just said, and yeah, it's really, it's really, really, really easy to come and get items out of this, so what I'm going to do, rather than just annoying myself to hell and back by having to come back here and get fire flowers if I need to restart the stage. I'm going to put a save state at the start of the level and that's going to be it. I'm going to use that simply because, you know, this stage is rather annoying and I don't want to collect the items all over again. So anyway, there's an eerie genera generator throughout this whole thing. I still need to talk slower sometimes. Yeah, well, you know, that's probably not going to happen. So anyway, Eeries. Um, and that's not a good start at trying to avoid the Eerie. I've been playing too much Toho recently. I've not, um, you know, played this again and actually thought, oh, hey, let's try and um, do it well. Really now, Cal. That's bad. Um, I know you're supposed to go underneath that, but I never really saw the point, so I end up just uh, skipping it, pretty much. That's all I've got to say about that. So, riding the Eerie, even though we don't really need to, you know, that's kind of there because there's so many on the screen, that Cooper, you know, kick guy there doesn't appear. Not that I really care, because he's not in the way anyway. So, Jesus Christ, there is a lot of Eeries underneath us here. That is definitely scary. It's making most of the plants despawn, though, which is pretty good. Why did I fall off him there? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that is where we are at at the moment. I suppose that Cooper is glitching through the platform, which is kind of weird. Don't know what to say about that, because, yeah, it's just unusual. So, there is some Eeries that decide to go weird ways, and if you want to go across there, there is a free up moon over there, actually, but I'm not going to show it, because it's impossible, almost, to get back. So, yeah. Oh, uh -huh, we'll defeat the green fool, yeah, 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 survive encounter stuff, blah de blah yeah, basically he's egging us on. And there is a bomb up there, because yeah, this is one of my most hated sections of the game so far. They, you know, so far, this is the very last thing, it's obviously going to be there. Basically, there is a power generator in this room. Of all the things to put in a room where you are forcing the guy to go up towards the ceiling, a power generator is among the worst of them. But that's okay, I do not know how I got away with that, so I'm not complaining, I just really don't know how I got away with it. Anyway, the enemy palettes are extremely odd in this place, I kind of get the effect. Why did I do that? Oh man... Yeah, well, see, this is what I mean by just loading the state, because I'm going to get more lives if I go back anyway, so it's not as if I'm going to cheat myself on life count, because I'm actually making it harder for me in that sense, but yeah, this whole place is just extremely weird, though. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm playing really badly at this, actually. This is not good whatsoever. Okay, so, Eerie Man, yeah, I don't know, I'm probably just going to keep this in, because I've been talking too long anyway, so, whatever. I know you're supposed to go down at that point, but I never really saw the point, so, yeah. My big gripe with these things is the Eerie Generators, you know, they're, um... Eeries are really annoying because they happen to often phase, like, halfway through tiles. 
so it ends up uh, it ends up in the situation that you end you yeah, let's just repeat ourselves a whole lot. Yeah, it ends up in a situation where you stand on a platform and you end up actually um, getting yourself hurt because the dude just happens to be phasing through the platform at that point. Yeah, obviously it's up is the direction we're supposed to go, but there was way too many areas for me to do that. There. Damn it. I think there might be something down there, I've never really looked. Let's go and have a look-see actually, because I think I can do that. So let's just see. The time limit is really quite generous for this level actually, so it's not nearly as long a level as it makes out to be. Yeah, there is something down here. Wow, okay. Um, I have no idea. Oh, you're supposed to... Well, that was totally not really clear, so yay for the game being ambiguous. <laughs> well, it's fine, because it doesn't overly matter how you do it, it's easy enough to get up regardless, so yeah. I'm happy with seeing that though, because that means that it's not quite as ridiculous as one might originally think, even though one has no real reason to think that it's ridiculous. I don't know, you know, that's just something that's there. So, yeah, I know there is the moon over there, as I said, but it's a bit too dangerous to try and get back, so I'm not going to go for it. There's no real need. You know, it's not as if I'm going to be able to be short of extra lives in this place, because even if I um, did manage to lose, like, 100... Hundreds too many for me to have, but um, you know, even if I did manage to lose so many of them that you know it wouldn't be required to get the moon, I can just go back into the last stop stage and it would work perfectly fine. So I don't need to go and get it. Although I guess if you would want proof, then I would have to. But um, you're just going to have to take my word, or better yet, play the game yourself and find out. You know, I'm definitely not lying at it though. That's the thing. So, there was a random spiny up there which tried to attack us, but we managed to get around that, so that's okay. I really hate the power generators, because the hitbox of them is so strange, it's crazy, you know? It's just, you're never safe from them, it's ridiculous. Right, okay, go, 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 go away from him. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother trying to get the Dragon Coins in this place because it is pointless at this stage. Hopping Flame, it's pointless. Why? Oh! I am sure I spawn jump there. I am absolutely sure I hit jump. That's the same thing when I try and do death bombing and stuff in them. Um, Toho, I always end up um, finding that I hit the button too late and it's just irritating. Um. Yeah, I can't remember too much of where I'm going at this point. I played this about uh, four days ago, I think. The Dark Coin Trail, I remember, is extremely misleading, though. I think I hit Rewind at that point, because that was just blatantly unfair. But I don't need to do it this time, because I actually remembered that it was a trap type thing. That's the biggest flaw, I think, with this hack, is um, too much of stuff like that happened, you know? Too much um, misleading stuff. That was a really bad idea, wasn't it? Well, if I can just rush on past, <laughs> I guess it's okay. Um, I just kind of considered my options after after doing that, and it really wasn't a very good option to take. So, uh, watch out for the Cooper Kicks, I suppose. That's some um, standard fare in this hack, but... I've just lost my shell. That was not good. I wanted to keep that shell. That shell was being my friend. You know, Cooperman, why are you here? Why are you here indeed? You guys stink, and I really dislike you, so I'm going to take your shell. You know, I've killed you off, so I'm going to take your shell. And Choco Man is just going to fall straight into his death. I suppose that's kind of helpful for me. Um, that was not useful, but it's okay. That was kind of useful, and there we go. That's what I wanted to do, and then we'll just do that, and that. There's a multiplied dude up there, but he's just fallen away, so who gives a damn about him? Uh, multiply guy there as well, but again, not very much going on with him, so I don't really care. Uh, there's one up there too, which is really, really weird. You know, there's just so many of them, it's unusual. It's most annoying when, you know, it slows the game down as much as this, because you end up having to um, navigate your way through them without actually being able to play at the proper speed. Yeah, look out for plants. 
Plants are rather dangerous, so, you know, just make sure you're careful of them. Especially when there's so many of them. Uh, that's what we wanted to do, kind of. Let's just keep the shell, because we can. I don't believe there's anything over there. You know, I'm, I don't know how you would check, because honestly... Um, yeah, there doesn't look to be anything over there, but it's suspicious regardless. However, I really don't know how you would check it out, so I just tend to ignore it. Okay, so I don't know what the hell happened there, actually. I'm trying to work that out now, and it's not something that I can do. I think it's just, the uh, you know, with this being an 8-directional controller, sometimes I guess it's, um, it doesn't pick up exactly where I want to go because it ends up picking it up as a diagonal direction just because of the way I press the um, the d-pad I suppose. I don't know. Um, that just sounds like an excuse to be honest but whatever. So there's plants, more plants in this place. You know plants are very dangerous creatures actually. You know you might not think that but when you consider that these guys are um, spewing fireballs all over the place and you know making my shell disappear because that's just how it goes. Uh, Choco, please die. Yep. Except they've not made it disappear because there's a platform down there. Duh. Oh, well, whatever. So, if I remember rightly, this was not too difficult. Yeah, this is really not overly hard because you've just got to go back up now. And there's not a whole lot to it. Was there something over here? I can't remember. Well, there's a dragon coin. I suppose that that does count as something. You know, that is definitely a thing. It's not something I want, but it's definitely a thing. So I was right in saying that. Yeah, you've got to fall in there. That was completely clear if you didn't know. I actually got that first time as well, so it's pretty great. You know, I didn't actually have to worry about that at all. But we're going now back um, back with the Eerie Generator. And I don't like this section because I don't like how unclear some of the platforms are, you know? It's, um, it's not very good, you know? They blend with the background way too much, and I think you can make it without doing an eerie jump there, but I just do it because it's easier. And yeah, that's the door we're looking to go into. So, yeah, come Luigi, show powerful, blah, 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 yeah, so basically we now have to go in a vertical climbing eerie generator. Yeah, joyous times, isn't it? It's really nothing special, though. It's it's not even an elevator, but it just kind of feels almost like one. So, yeah, it's a vertical section with Eeries, but the Eeries are so slow that it doesn't make a difference. And now we're at the boss already, and it's a big boo, as you could see from up there. I've tried to keep the coins there because um, it took me a few attempts to work this out, but the idea is that you are to take a block Using the coins to thing I shouldn't have taken the block before getting the things up. That was a bad idea. Um, yeah, but the idea is that the coins are pointing to where note blocks are. So you have to do a big old, you know, thing to get up to the moon up the top. And, whoa, that was way too close. Yeah, you've got six blocks, three hits to kill the moon. It's not generally that bad, but you've got to be very fast because the blocks do, you know, run out very quickly. So, be precise and get up just like that, and there we go. Right, one more hit. You wouldn't believe this took me about 10 minutes to do the first time, but this was literally the only, um, the only part that gave me massive trouble was trying to get up. But then once you've done that, it's fine, and that is the game over. Which is really good. You know, that's, that's finally done. Finally done. It's definitely not as hard when you're not doing it blind, that's for sure. But anyway, we've gotten rid of the darkness. And yeah, there was a weird graphics type glitch there, I suppose. But now we can go back through the special world. And yeah, going through here, it, it unlocks that alternate overworld palette. But I don't think it does anything to the levels, because I went into one level and it didn't change anything. So, you know, there wasn't any of the, um, the sprite swapping like the original special world did. So, there wasn't anything else to say, to be honest. But you can see now, it's a really different palette. It's, it's obviously not as good, but then the original game did the exact same thing, so whatever, right? But yeah, there really isn't anything else to say to it. That's, that's just kind of it.
Uh, it's a lot shorter than the original video. I think the original video was 36 minutes before editing, and so, you know, it'd have been about 17 or 18, I think, probably, after doing editing stuff. That's because it took me so long to do that level, but I didn't take very long at all this time. That is a very weird looking cloud level. I haven't been through all of the worlds again yet, so I don't know what they all look like, but um, yeah, that is one hell of a weird looking cloud palette now. So uh, yeah, I guess this has been it. Um, thanks for watching, definitely, you know, for those who have stuck with it. Um, sorry this took a really, really long hiatus at one point because of not having a controller and everything. But, uh, yeah, the, it's just, it's been pretty good fun. There's been some points which I have really, really hated, of course, you've, you've heard that more than enough. But, um, yeah, it was great overall. Um, a little bit overusing Cooper Kicks and stuff, and a little bit unfair with blindness and, you know, misleading coin trails and stuff. But, compared to a lot of hacks that I've seen, it's very good. Very good. One other thing I want to know is, um, please, if you would leave a um, a comment about the video length of this, actually, after um, after YouTube removed its limits completely, I've basically just been playing as long as I feel like in one shot. You know, I generally try to stick to doing two levels or three levels per video, but you know, I've been playing for just about as long as I felt like for most of the time, so. If that was too long, you wanted me to restrict it a little bit more, then, you know, do leave the comment for that, because I know some people don't like really long videos, and I didn't like the length of some of them that came up, but that's just the way it goes. It was better than putting it in several parts, I thought, but, you know, that's just my opinion. If you guys think differently and there's enough, you know, thing to say, hey, Cal, just do, like, 15-minute videos or something, 20 at the most, I'll happily change to that. But yeah, feedback is important, so if you would leave that, that would be very good. Um, so yeah, I guess that's just about it. In terms of um, next project type thing, I have been looking at what I want to do next this way. I was going to do, you know, a um, an SNWC production, but having I've not watched any of it yet just in case I do do it to keep it blind etc but having read through a lot of um, comments on it and a lot of criticisms it does not sound nearly as good as what I thought it would be and with so many people doing it just now as well I honestly don't want to you know so, in terms of Mario hacks, I probably won't be doing another one for a bit, simply because I now have my Wii back. I've had it for almost a week and I've not played it yet, that's really bad. But, um, I want to do Wii games as the next thing, and of course you've seen the Toho introduction thing, there's a fair few, um, people have come for that as well, and I am getting there, I just need to try and adjust my audio, right. I need to re-record it after now because of the audio desync issues. I want to do a better run that I have proper recording for, so that's gonna come. But it's not gonna come, you know, like immediately like this. I still have Sonic Colors to do. I have not forgotten about the Legend of Zelda Four Souls Adventures, but it's um it's trying to find a time where or trying to find Zenith nowadays actually. He's non existent right now. I might just continue that by myself, but it's not a main run LP, it's gonna be when I feel like it, so yeah. There is another Wii game which I want to play though, but I want to get the rest of my videos that I have left. I have three Sonic Colors videos to do, and I want to do the Toho before I start it because I'm very, very close to doing the Toho, I just need to concentrate enough to do the run and now, you know, get it without audio desync. This is a long ramble at the end of this, but it was a really short video, so you know, it's um, it's good to talk about what's coming next, I guess. So anyway, this has been Gamer Cow. you've been watching Super Luigi World, thanks for watching again, and... I guess we will do Mario Hacks again at some point, but it's not going to be for a while because there's other stuff I want to do, you know, first. So, yeah, hold on to that, I guess. Platforming stuff is generally what I do, though, so, you know, it's always going to be good stuff regardless, but, um, 
I do have one hack in mind that I want to do though, so you don't need to suggest anything to me unless there's something really amazing that comes up which is new that I don't know about. So no ASNT either, I'm not doing that. Sorry Nick, but I'm not doing that. It's um it's too late for it now. Anyway, see you guys.